How's it going everyone, it's Vivi and we're back to some Spyro, so this time let's talk about the sales, shall we? Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Why you guys might ask in the comments, why so early? Well I'm basically comparing this to Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. Spyro and Crash have been this one iconic duo for a very long time, right? There was always this split, from what I've been reading, between which one sells better, which one sells less. It's a complete mixed bag. Some say, well, Crash was always more popular. No, Spyro was more popular. 60% of the time, I think people say Spyro was more popular, probably due to nostalgia. They grew up with the game, they don't remember Crash Bandicoot that much, they thought Spyro was simply more popular. Now technically, which one did sell better? According to VG Charts, it's an estimate, it's not uh, the precise number, of course. Going by the number of the classic games, Crash Bandicoot was winner. Crash 1 was 6.82 million, Spyro 1 was 5 million. A lot less popular in Japan especially, Spyro. Crash 2 was 7.58. Again, popular in Japan, already comparing it to Spyro. Spyro 2 was 3.52, 10,000 copies only sold in Japan, 10,000. Crash 3 was 7.13, Spyro 3 was 3.71. It never got released in Japan due to poor sales of 1 and 2. I mean, did we ever get an official statement as to why Spyro 3 was never originally released in Japan? I don't think so. I'm thinking it was due to the poor sales and the alterations 1 and 2 had. Ultimately, Crash always dominated Spyro. Spyro itself had great sales, too. I mean, it's pretty good, no doubt. I mean, sure, don't look at the Japanese numbers, but you get it. Fast forward to Crash NST. Seven weeks in a row, I'm talking about the PS4 version here. Back in June, when it got released. It was at the number one spot seven times. Every week, seven weeks consecutive. Eight weeks in a row, when released on Xbox One and Switch. One year later, folks. Now here's the thing with Crash Bandicoot. This is crazy. NST sold 2.5 million copies since its release back in June 2017 until September 2017. Just a couple of months. It's even more now, worldwide. Over 4 million copies sold. Crash, if you want to talk about being successful, yes it is. We're already getting Nitro Fueled, I mean that one was obvious. The sales, right? Spyro Reignited Trilogy, okay. It went multi-platform from the get-go, Xbox and PS4. For those wondering, yes, it seems like it has released in Japan. PlayStation Store Japan and Xbox Store Japan show it listed. They went with the North American style of Spyro. Crash's appearance for Insane Trilogy was altered on the cover, if you remember. NST, by the way, short for Insane Trilogy, don't forget, got dubbed in Japanese. Although obvious, sure, but Spyro did not get dubbed, it seems. Japan is receiving a North American import. The original Spyro, however, on PS1, was altered in appearance. This time around, I guess they just uh, no longer want to focus on Spyro in that department? As for the bundle, you can also find it on the Japanese Amazon. Clearly, it looks to be the North American version. Now back to the sales charts of uh, NST. It did pour in Japan. If Spyro did pour originally in Japan, just imagine how the sales are gonna be for the Reignited Trilogy in Japan. Just think about it. It's not too hard. So with that, to I guess wrap up this section in the video, both gameplay of Crash and Spyro remain unaltered for the Japanese version. As for the sales charts in the UK, Spyro, for the first week, it was at number one. Was it predictable? Looking at Crash, comparing both popularities, well, uh, I guess you could argue. But yeah, it did uh, reach number one. Now looking at Pokemon, looking at this list, if Eevee and Pikachu were both combined, sales would have probably beaten Spyro. Most sales, looking at this, in the UK, 75% came from PS4, according to Push Square. And thank you to Wampa Gem over on Twitter, the exact numbers for the first week in the UK are as follows. 81,000 for the PlayStation 4, 27,000 for Xbox One, giving a total of 108,000. If you do the math, going with Push Square's information, 75% coming from PS4. If you guys aren't too sure about the 75% coming from Push Square, I I mean, if you put 81,000 over 108,000, you get 75%. I'm just doing the math to be certain. Crash Bandicoot, PS4, sold 1 million copies in its first week. This information might already worry fans. Okay, how is this supposed to compete with a crash? 
Some even said in the past, uh, I think Spyro's gonna be to a crash in terms of sales. I was honestly skeptical about that one. Long story short, Spyro Reignited did not have the same fate as Crash in terms of, you know, being number one consecutively. It was number one only once. But still, Spyro is still in the top 10. Like until now, it's still a part of a top 10. It's currently sitting at number nine in Europe and number six in US. Do you keep in mind what I'm showing you right now, these are for the downloads, not physical copies sold. What I've been showing you in the video, I mean, all the charts and everything, it's usually for physical copies. It's been five weeks since the launch of Spyro, and Spyro still managed to remain in top 10. That's something. All in all, Spyro Reignited is the biggest launch in history of Spyro titles. Spyro Reignited Trilogy's launch month dollar sales were more than 30% higher than the launch month sales of all other Spyro games ever combined, except Skylanders. This was according to NPD, which is a US market. Also, Player's Choice Award for November went to Spyro over on PlayStation Blog by the blog readers. Now, how does this work? At the end of every month, PlayStation Blog will open a poll where you can vote for the best new game released that month. Soon thereafter, we'll close the polls, tally your votes, and announce the winner at PlayStation Blog. PlayStation Store will also showcase some top players' as choice winners throughout the year. As for the marketing part, both Spyro and Crash had the same type of marketing. Trailer here and there and that's it. Us content creators making videos. If anything, Toys for Bob did share a bunch of snippets every week on average. That just caused, like I just said, content creators to pump up more videos. Crash had uh, the mascot as uh, the promotional trailer. Spyro had Snoop Dogg. I mean, it was cool, it was fun. Now, I don't know why. But I get the feeling Crash was the lucky one, and what I mean by this is this. Sean Layden back in 2016 on stage during E3, he announced Crash getting remastered from the ground up. The reaction from the crowd, a lot of press happened. After that moment, bringing back a game from 20 years, new graphics, sound, controls, I mean it felt magical at first. Spyro got announced with the trailer. Yes, it was speculated by a bunch of fans, but that was it. There was no on-stage reveal. Crash didn't get revealed with the trailer. A lot more hype, I believe, was just built up for Crash, seeing as how it was handled. Maybe just maybe, people thought, okay, cool, I bought Crash. It seems like Spyro is also getting the same treatment. I'll pick this one up later. I don't, I feel like I have this small feeling in the back of my mind. I don't know how to exactly put it, but the magic wore off? Oh yes, let's not forget the egg hunt. Activision sending out a bunch of eggs. But really, thinking about it, would that really have beaten Crash? In terms of units sold, I mean, just having Sean Layden up on stage, that alone I feel like added a bonus. Now, how else would you explain lesser sales for Spyro? Now, technically speaking, we still don't have the global sales for Spyro Reignited Trilogy, but with the information I currently shared with you, it seems like Spyro will have lesser sales than Crash. And how do we know that? Well, it hasn't been in the top 10 consecutively, like Crash. Going back to what I annotated in the video, do we believe, do we really believe that Spyro is going to surpass 1 million copies in its first week? UK was 108,000. I found this on VG Charts, 288,000 for the PS4 as of November 17th. Combining those two numbers, we get like 396,000. Sure, we're only looking at the US part, but really, is it gonna pass 1 million? I don't think so. This is only referring to the first week, guys. I'm not talking about long term, okay? Now, disregarding the possibility of the download issue and the glitches lowering the number of sales, how else do we explain it? Was it because of games like Fallout 76, Red Dead, Call of Duty having um, better marketing? I'm gonna say yes, they had better marketing. AAA games? Yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna read this in the comments. How did Fallout 76 even beat Spyro? From all the reviews I've been reading on Fallout 76, I have a feeling you guys will bring it up. Ultimately, something I've been saying all the time, it all comes down to marketing. If marketing is done right, initial sales will be big. Crash was lucky enough to become huge with the lack of marketing. Remember, according to the person who wrote on GBI, Crash had barely any marketing, so the same applies to Spyro. Now what about Crash Bandicoot? What did it compete with? What type of marketing did it compete with? I mean, Crash, if you think about it, was competing with GTA 5, remember? And yet it came up number one consecutively. One thing I am forgetting, the thing that could have gotten Spyro off track in the UK charts while looking at the second week, UK sales charts week ending uh, 24th, Spyro 
Zero released right before Black Friday, so the game didn't have any deals. Some games went on sale and Spyro wound up at number 9 suddenly. I'm guessing it urged people to buy other titles due to those deals. I mean, the jump is pretty sudden. It's the second week we're talking about. And now, unfortunately, looking at this list, as of December 1st, Spyro is no longer top 10, at least in the UK. Anyways... Final verdict on this whole story of sales and all that, Spyro will have less sales than Crash overall. Guys, do not fear. I believe that the sales numbers will be enough, of course, to convince Activision for more games in the future. So with that being said, guys, this is it. I don't really have anything much to add, so I'll leave the rest to you. Leave your own thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think of the future sales of Spyro? Do you think it's gonna surpass Crash? Hold on just a minute. There is a bundle, right? So I wonder how the sales will count. Spyro and Crash are together. The number of copies sold of the bundle, it's gonna add up to the numbers of uh, Spyro and Crash games sold, right? Logically? Anyways, I've been Vivi, and uh, leave anything in the comments, and thank you for watching. Until next time.